Today we're going to find out all about Blue Photon and some new products in your product range. But first of all, Dan, if people don't know what Blue Photon is or what it does, can you give me a quick summary, please? Absolutely, Colin. Blue Photon is unique in the industry because we use a UV curable adhesive to hold parts for machining. What this does is eliminate all clamps that may get in the way of processing, and it also allows uh, five-sided access to your part. Okay, so in a nutshell, you're gluing that part onto there, nice and simple. Okay, is it easy to get the glue on and, and actually get those components on there? Sure, absolutely. The, uh, what we have is a UV curable adhesive that's like a gel. So it fills the gap between the part and the, our patented grippers, which allows the UV to, uh, adhesive to cure. Um, it's that simple. So we cure it for 60 seconds, it solidifies, and you're ready to go. Okay, what sort of clamping force? Because it's, you know, I'm thinking it's glue, it's not gonna be holding it that tight. It's surprisingly strong, Colin. Each one of these large grippers will hold about 600 pounds in tension. Our medium grippers, 400, and our small guys here, about 150 pounds. Okay, and you've got an LED light coming through the back to cure that glue. We do. It's, uh, that's what's nice about this. You don't really have a working time once you disp uh, dispense the adhesive. Uh, so you can take your time loading your part if you need to. Uh, after exposed to our UV source, it's 60 seconds, it solidifies, and now you're ready to go. Okay, but is that UV source, is it robust when it's in the machine? Because, you know, there's a lot of working going on in there. In some cases, absolutely, especially on larger parts. Uh, what you can't do is leave the UV head in the machine during machining, um, but not a big deal. So you just put them into the fixture, cure your job, bring them out, and run your part. Nice and simple. Now, I've machined my part, and it's I'm, I'm thinking straight away, really complex parts, but we'll come to that in a little while. Mm -hmm. I've then got to remove it. Is that easy? Absolutely. We have several different ways to remove the adhesive. For uh, <clears throat> brittle parts like ceramics, what we would do is we would set the tool in the, in the part in hot water for three to five minutes, and then you simply pull them apart. <clears throat> for more robust parts, you just turn the gripper a quarter turn, that rotational shear will break the adhesive joint, and then you can remove your part. Nice and simple. Yeah. For cleanup, we just hit it with a little steam for about five seconds and the adhesive will peel right off. Okay, so super complex parts and really rigid, so I'm getting repeatability, accuracy. But this is the new product range because before, well, what were you doing before and what are you doing now? Well, before, what, basically what we did is just supplied our hardware to customers who built their own custom fixture. What we decided to do is come out with three different size pallets to uh, help people who want to get into Blue Photon and not sure quite how to do it, we, we, we're all set now. Yeah. That's it, nice. and zero point system on the back I'm assuming. Absolutely, and we use that for a uh, quick on and off the machine to help uh, you know get rid of that operator influence on loading your part. Yeah, want to avoid operator influence if, right. at all times if you can. No, just respect your, the operators, of course. <laughs> That's it. Absolutely. So, I mean, nice set here, but what happens if I want a bigger part? For a bigger part, uh, we can make a larger pallet or we, the customer can make their own pallet. Like every good engineer, absolutely. Yep. But also you can go, you've got a new, another new product as well, where you can go larger components. Well, we have a stable, new stabilizer system that's adjustable. All the customer needs to do is take our UV puck, our blue photon puck, stick it onto their part. We have a stabilizer arm that comes from the table up to the part to uh, strengthen and uh, solidify that, uh, that part in space. Okay, and that just attaches the T-slot in the, in the machining on the bed? Yes, absolutely. Nice and simple. And again, getting that rigidity as well, though? Yes, it's a very strong system. Uh, the, the customers will be really uh, surprised with how, how strong it is. Okay, and then going back to what I mentioned earlier about complex parts, because you can also go even further, because you can 3D print not only the fixturing, but the components and then hold those as well? Yeah, for 3D printed parts, we know a lot of these parts are one-offs or two-offs. So what you can actually do is print a fixture insert their blue photon grippers, uh, cure your part on there roughly, probe it in your machine, and you have a digital fixture made overnight. There you go, making it nice and simple. So what's, I mean, give me an example of some of the components you, you know, that work really well with this system. Uh, a lot of our customers use our, our system for um, investment castings, cast parts with odd shapes. They also use it on 3D printed parts where the, the parts are very organic, thin, compliant in certain areas. So they use our grippers to, to hold those thin areas. Uh, but you can also use it on billets because what that does is it gives you five-sided access uh, without having to put a dovetail in your part. Right. Dan, great introduction to Blue Photon and how you've expanded product range. So if you've got any part, well, complex parts or any parts really, get in contact with the guys at Blue Photon.